the most important thing that come first is a probe marker. So, this is your probe. Which type of probe is this? Convex. convex. So, why? Because the surface is convex. And uh, this is the grey area. When we were uh, students, so our teachers used to say, do whatever you want to do, but don't damage this area. Why? Because this grey area is holding the piezoelectric crystal. So, the piezoelectric crystal is here behind this grey zone. So, you have to protect this. This is a soft area. So, whenever you are uh, using it, just uh, don't bang it here and there because the probe, it is the cost of probe that cost for a machine and it is this area which if you keep safe, your probe is safe. You can see a marker here. It is a like, uh, it can be anything. It can be a depression. It can be a black or white, any indicator sort of thing. It can be a, uh, you can say elevated area, but there is always a marker on probe. So this is very important, this probe marker, because why? By this, we are going to decide the direction of probe, how we are using and putting it. So see, this is, uh, this probe is uh, of a G machine probe. And here it is like a depression. In the previous slide, it was like an elevation. So this indicate, why this is important? We will teach on uh, Maniquin also. Wherever this marker is, that has to be on the right side of the patient. If you are holding this marker on right side of your patient, then your monitor will be representing everything on the right side. This is your machine's monitor. This is your monitor. See the patient is lying like this. patient is lying like this, your probe is like this. This is your convex probe and it is like this. It has a marker here. So what you have to do with this marker is put this marker on abdomen like this. See this is right side of patient, <coughs> this is left side of patient, anatomical side, uh, uh, side uh, like side we are talking about. So this marker of probe should be held like this. If you are holding your marker like this, then on your screen, your this side will be reflected as right and this side will be reflected as left. When you are holding your probe in this position, in a transverse position. We will talk about screen orientation also later on. So this marker is very important. The importance is in deciding the orientation that you didn't miss. What happens if you are rotating it another way round? If your marker is not here, suppose the marker goes here. So whatever that is seen here, this on screen changes. You are thinking like uh, as a, a student when we go to radio department or we are having a, see uh, like we are uh, observing things there and you are just looking towards the scans and what uh, other seniors are doing. You are just thinking that whatever here is right and whatever here is left. But this thing applies when your pro marker is on the right side. If the person who is doing scan has turned it another way around, suppose the marker is here, then anatomy changes automatically. Why this is important? Uh, one of my colleague, she's from Kashmir, she sent me few pictures and she said uh, that that person, uh, the pictures whom she said, uh, she is having a ovarian cyst. And then what she said is that she is having pain on left side. Doctor did a scan and doctor has uh, said that cyst is on the right, is in the right ovary. I said, okay, just send me the report. So she sent me the printed one. Okay, this is the report in which everything was printed like this, this, this and it's in right ovarian cyst. But she said that since last one month, she is having pain on left side and it's like uh, at times it becomes severe. So I was like, okay, uh, just uh, don't share the printed report. I want to see the pictures also. So in those pictures, uh, she said, okay, I'll send you the picture. On those picture, in few machines, which are uh, newer one and in which upgradation is there also, so what was there? 
it was written in a very small fashion l uh, l on this side r on this side because now the machines which are coming up they are also telling the position of probe markers so l was written here cyst was here because that scan was done abdominally cyst was on this side but the doctor by default think that this is always a right side on screen whatever is on right side of the screen is right side of patient provided your probe marker is on the right side if probe marker is not on the on this side on right side of patient then the anatomy changes so what happens in that case was the probe was held in this manner and it was like she was scanned like this but the cyst was not on right side it was left side only but because the probe position was not proper so the anatomy got changed so that this is the importance of probe marker now talking about screen orientation that we were discussing just now i need see when you are holding now i have told you how to hold the probe and how to hold it there is a proper uh, manner in which you should hold it don't grasp it very hardly if you are grasping it it will, it will keep on slipping here and there don't grasp it just hold it in a comfortable position we are having a probe we will show you later on uh, on this uh, mannequin also see this is probe just hold it hold it like this very gently and lightly suppose this is your probe marker so if i am patient this is my right side so marker has to be on the right side hold it gently very gently like this don't touch the gray zone because if you are going to touch this area it will uh, your fingers will uh, get reflected here on the screen so avoid touching this gray zone hold it like this and scan in all planes how to scan that that uh, we will uh, also be telling you have to move it thoroughly you have to scan the said area thoroughly there are proper movements like your yeah, sliding movements tilting movements and all those things are there which we will be talking about in screen orientation what is when i am holding this probe like this this is my patient i want to screen abdomen i have put my probe in a transverse position this is my convex probe which i am using and i have put it in a transverse position so my probe marker is now on the right side of patient this is my probe marker whatever picture that i am getting will be reflected here on the right side of monitor this is an image of uh, liver that we are scanning here if you are holding your probe transversely just try to see how the probe is hold i am holding my probe this is my convex probe i am holding it transversely like this my probe marker is on right so what will be reflected is see these are the sound waves which are coming from here they are going like this penetrating this area then what's happening whatever is uh, uh, struck by these waves first is anterior because i am sitting like this standing and sitting whatever in position your patient is having i am standing like this so whatever beam is coming this is anterior so anterior will be reflected this one this is your probe you can uh, see a footprint of your probe also so this is your probe so front front indicates anterior so this is anterior back this is posterior because this is my anterior my back will be reflected here posterior and because my probe marker is here on the right side so on right side of screen i'll be having this thing the right anatomy and on left it would be left so see suppose if i take a turn it's like this and i'm scanning it like this from here so although this is patient's anterior and posterior but now the anatomy changes and whatever is reflected here is this is this is anterior this is anterior as per the screen 
but per as per patient this is posterior but whatever is you have to just look where you are you are striking it so this is very important so this is this applies when i am holding my probe transversely is this clear in case of any doubt you can ask also in between and after finishing the session when we will be doing hands on then uh, all your queries will be sorted out now i am changing my i want to change my position this uh, there is a uh, a point on screen also that indicates wherever your pointer is so you can just have a check on that also when we are doing scans we are always doing it in hurry uh, okay the patient is coming okay lie down lie down okay okay i'm scanning i'm scanning okay so just give a few seconds to have a glimpse of this screen this is very important in case because when we are scanning we are busy with patient we are talking some sister is talking from back back side that oh doctor do uh, like she is uh, this this i have to go for sister and okay doctor please come there there so you are and when whenever you are in a hurry and uh, you are you are a busy practitioner you skip the, these things and what happens is you are scanning your probe is <coughs> like turning here and there you are moving you are searching for some pathology or searching for something and your probe is moving you don't know what's happening this marker here will tell you where is your probe so keep it here on the right side so if this is there whatever you are sc scanning here is on the right side of patient because this marker is on the right side of probe so this i have told you just about the transverse probe position <coughs> now what happens if my probe is in a vertical manner this was my probe was horizontal now i have put it in a vertical manner so now i have moved my probe and it's i am holding it like this and my marker is here i have to keep my marker now in up position towards the head of patient cranial end of patient you can put your marker anywhere you can pull, uh, hold your probe in any fashion you want to hold it but the basic thing is you should know which part is getting reflected on monitor that is the only important thing you should know if your marker is towards a patient cranial end facing towards patient head so what is getting reflected on screen is now see anterior and posterior will always remain same why because these beams whether i hold it like this or i hold it like that this part is always anterior the sound waves are always going to strike this part first so anterior will always remain anterior posterior will always remain posterior the only thing that is changing now is because of the pro position is the thing which you are seeing now here is superior this right become superior yes left become inferior why because your probe marker is up now in a vertical position of probe so this is the only important thing that you should know now why you should know whether it is superior or inferior whenever you are doing scans of liver you are scanning liver say you are scanning kidney what i mean to say is in abdomen also we will be repeating these things because in abdomen everything will be covered kidney and all those things the position of kidney is such that when you are seeing it on screen this is say liver and you are seeing kidney here so what you are doing is you are putting your probe like this and then you are scanning this is yes this is kidney slightly you are tilting your probe and the position of kidney is like this and the liver somewhere is here like this so this pole if your probe marker is towards the patient head then this pole which which is here 
this this pole is superior and this is inferior but when you are looking at the screen you might be thinking that this is pos positioned higher up so this is a superior one and this is an inferior one but no why this is not because your position is like this and your probe marker is facing upwards so why this is important if you are seeing any calculi here so it is not in the inferior pole because it's not like that this part is dipping so this is inferior and this part is like facing up this is superior no this is superior so if you are getting in calculi here you have to report it that i have seen a 3 4 mm into this this mm size calculi in the superior pole so this is the importance of screen orientation that don't go by where the organ is lying it is dipping down or it is dipping up no don't go by that because as a student also we were doing same mistakes that when we were seeing on screen we were very happy that oh this is there this is there okay this stone is here and but this is lower pole because it is facing down but no your pro marker is facing towards patient head so this is superior so this is the only important thing that you should know because reporting is very important whatever you are doing you have to report that and reporting comes when you are very thorough with your screen orientation so moral of this story is anterior will always remain anterior posterior will always remain posterior only these right and left points change are getting changed when your screen when your probe when your probe is like this in transverse position and your marker is here on the right side of patient here you are getting right and here you are getting left and when your probe you are rotating your probe so rotate it like this so when your probe is getting rotated you have rotated it like this in a vertical fashion your probe marker is now towards patient head so this point will become superior this will become inferior because or, uh, how you can remember is when the marker when this probe marker moves superiorly on the right side superior will come and on the left side inferior will come so this is how you can remember it also these things uh, seems difficult initially but when you start practicing and when you start following these things so it's not that difficult